All right, guys, welcome to our first ever vlog from a cemetery. It might be our last. I'm feeling very conflicted. The idea is this cemetery is called the Mary Cemetery. It's sort of cheerful and has positive vibes. Obviously, visually, it's very appealing. These bright blue tombstones with a very unique design. It's almost like a roof structure mm -hmm. on top of a cross. The blue pops brightly colored. There's a picture on the tombstone. It's like hand painted and uh, there's a poem. So the idea is the poem and picture are going to encapsulate uh, the way the person lived or maybe even the way the person died. But it's more about um, honesty and cheerful. It's, uh, it's not very common. So some examples are um, if the person liked to drink a lot and party, they would say that in the poem. Mm -hmm. One example is uh, there, there's a uh, there's a mother-in-law who passed away, and the poem says like, "Here lies my mother-in-law. Don't wake her up. All she ever did was scold me. <laughs> Let her sleep. I'm sick of being scolded." And so the people who are buried here, uh, their intention was to be more honest. I guess most right. funerals, it's like this person was the greatest person ever. That's what most funerals people say. They say like, "He was so nice. He was so kind. He was tremendous." Or that's not really the true essence of the person. Mm -hmm. So there's poems in here that are like uh, talking about marital marital infidelity like here lies my wife she cheated on me before it's just it's just an honest depiction of the person's life uh, the reason I'm feeling conflicted is because it is a tourist attraction right. and just to be clear I'm a tourist and I'm here I'm not passing judgment on other people I'm actually passing judgment on myself to be honest with you <laughs> I'm passing judgment on myself that's exactly what I'm doing uh, there's an entrance fee there's an Instagram page of the cemetery and it's full of like people taking selfies on the graves and it's it's a little much. Uh, I will say this, just full disclosure, just starting to rain. This is this is this is a wacky day. I feel very conflicted. Okay, listen. I see this woman just a couple of minutes ago and she's doing like sexy poses on the graves taking selfies and I go check the grave that she was on and it was like a 3-year-old person. And I'm like, I don't know about, I think the idea is right, that the cheerful, like look for the happy and the sad, be more honest and be kind of cheerful, make a joke in the poem. But when you got people taking selfies on infants graves, it's a little much. Now to be clear, the grave is like very beautiful and it's got a picture of a car hitting a person and it's like, mm -hmm. it's visually like something you've never seen before. Yeah. Um, Yvonne is making very good points. I will say Yvonne is very smart. Um, just over here, there's like a one-year-old's grave. People are taking selfies on it and stuff. Uh, but the one-year-old died in 2017. And the parents would have chosen to put their child here knowing it was a tourist attraction. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like feeling bad that I'm like, these are real people that For died. Me? And I'm like doing a vlog. But, but Yvonne is saying, very smart, Yvonne <laughs> is saying, um, maybe this is what the parents wanted. Yeah. It's like their child is always going to have people near them. Yeah, and maybe that's, exactly. who am I to say what... You know, these parents having to go through this tremendously difficult thing where their right, child right. passes away, it's like so overwhelmingly sad. And this is what they wanted, this is their choice. Yeah. And, and I'm just really, right now I'm in my head and I'm thinking, what am I doing with the camera? It was really <laughs> devastating to see this woman doing like a sexy pose at a three-year-old's grave. But Yvonne is right that these people know that they're in a tourist attraction. Yeah. The idea is the family doesn't actually write the poem. The family tells the whole person's life to the guy who engraves the stone and yeah. he will then write the poem and the family will approve. Yeah. So whatever the poem says, uh, it might not be, it's certainly not mocking the dead, but it might not be the typ typical way you would uh, remember them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm feeling very conflicted. I feel like I might be, <laughs> what's the difference between me and the, and the selfie woman? Maybe I'm the same. Yeah, and I'm, also- I'm judging myself, I really am. Uh, we are in a village called Sapanta. So in a small village, everyone knows each other. So there is no, they don't hide their lives. Yeah, small villages, like the gossip travels quickly. And, 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 and be so honest with okay how that, they die, uh, how they live their life of, uh, you know, yeah. So it's very interesting. <laughs> now, we were hoping we could get the phone and do the Google Translate on the text. Unfortunately, it seems like it's written in the dialect of a this dialect region. of Romanian so the Google Translate is totally not working plus it's handwritten yeah uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll ask some Romanian people to pause the video when we show uh, some of the 
words and you guys can translate for us in the comments we've got a bunch of good clips this one looks like a guy who's uh maybe drinking too much or drinking a lot his, it says it the word like palinka right in his palinka palm here. so maybe we can you guys can pause the video and see what uh what's happening here um it's interesting i don't i don't i think the idea is good to look for the happy and the sad but yeah. maybe tourism i'm feeling conflicted I mean, I, I mean, the selfie on the grave is too much for me. <laughs> so, what's, what's, what, am I not doing the same thing? It's a yeah, lot. It's you a lot are. To take in. I would doing encourage thing. tourism here. It looks interesting. It's sort of a new take on death. It's uh, thought provoking. It's but unique. It's unique. It's the only one in the world self. that is like this. Hello. Sure, that would be great. So we're doing a YouTube video. Is it okay? Oh, cool. Yeah, we're from Dallas. Nice. Oh, yeah. Where are you guys from? <laughs> Very nice. We're from Toronto. <laughs> Toronto. Yeah. This is a sad story. The guy um, made Palinka. So he was basically he had his own distillery and stuff. Okay. But he got very very sick at some point, and they took him even to France, to, like hospitals, to treat him. Uh, but they couldn't save his life. Uh, there is like a really really popular one with a mother-in-law that we should find because that one is like really yes. funny this is the one i saw online where yeah they were and saying, also um, like there's magnets of it and stuff but i so this one actually you're... not very funny or happy story yeah not quite not, sad it's quite sad yeah, yeah. so I, I can translate it i can just translate sure. it word by word sure so this is basically i was called twader basului um ever since i was a kid and i was a vice mayor in the town mm. Um, at home with Palinchia basically means I had a distillery Palinchia. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I was filling buckets and buckets of Palinka where I um, I started being ill and my illness couldn't be treated and they took me all the way to France to prolong my life oh my poor mother she uh i left her very sad and forever she won't forget me also with my wife and my sister mary uh you should um, keep me in your memory because i left life at 56 years mm -hmm. of age in 2016. okay, okay. thank you very yeah. much for translating obviously yeah. not a good example of a positive quite sad yeah yeah um, and obviously we lost the rhyme in translation I think it actually rhymes in Romanian. Yeah, it's so it's more does, rhythmic. Yeah, it oh rhymes. yeah, that's um, right. But this is wow. this is uh, yeah. one Definitely. example. Well, Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. So big thanks to Constantine mm -hmm. and Jenna from Dallas just walking by. Um, he said he read a bunch of them and most of them are quite sad. Right. So I think visually it's a cheerful cemetery. Yeah. But the poems. I'm very conflicted. Anyway, guys, this, this is today's <laughs> video. Obviously, the church is super beautiful. Yeah. Um, there you have it. Two, you have it's, it. It seems like a very like, unlikely um, tourist destination. The also, cemetery. I think uh, I saw some uh, tombstone. This is not stone, but it's from oak woods. Uh, right. Depicting the person's happy life. For example, you can see uh, a mother that likes to cook right, right. for their family, or a farmer that was happy with their animals. Or like uh, a teacher, you know? Yeah. So. Uh, and sometimes the picture is um, of the death. So we saw one that was like a person getting run over by a train. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was uh, one of the, that's one of the tragic examples. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let us know in the comments what you think, guys. Uh, is a cemetery a tourist attraction you might go to? Am I doing the wrong thing? Feel free to pass judgment on me. Maybe this is not okay. But then again, Ivana made a good point. These people chose to be here knowing yeah. it's a tourist attraction. Yeah, some of them. Some are really old. Some are quite new, like 2016, 2017. Yeah, the really old ones is um, also very interesting. Yeah. Um, there you have for it, guys. Me? I'm not even sure what my opinion <laughs> of this of this is. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Me, I would rather be in this type of cemetery rather than in the really? middle of nowhere where no one comes and with like gray tombstone where is everything really is like more sad. I think I would... Oh, what what kind of grave do I want to be I don't in? Even, That's a hard thing I to imagine. I don't even mind people taking a picture with my grave, to be honest. Really? Yeah, that means See, people who are, am I to say people don't are take paying selfies attention on graves. to you. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want people taking selfies on my grave. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just too sensitive. That's what it is. I just, I'm in my thoughts right now. I'm in my head. 
There you have it, guys. Yeah, I'm not this even is a sure. tourist attraction for sure because they have a souvenir shop and also lots of shops outside of the it's church. I mean, there's an entry fee to a yeah. cemetery. It's very unique. Yeah. Uh, there you but have it, guys. This, this vlog. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to go home and think for a, for a month. <laughs> I do think uh, the work, the craftsmanship is sure. beautiful. We're going to uh, admire um, the craftsmanship. Yeah, you have to go Agreed. through trainings. Uh, to make one of these, you have to be a good In carver, carver, uh, a good painter, and, and a, a poet. good poet. Yes. Yeah. I can admire the beauty. I can admire the skill. I'm nervous that I'm being disrespectful, essentially. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Speechless for this vlog. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.